A goal is a dream with a deadline. A positive mind finds a way it can be done, a negative mind looks for all the ways it can't be done. Action is the real measure of intelligence. All achievements, all earned riches, have their beginning in an idea. All the breaks you need in life wait within your imagination, imagination is the worship of your mind, capable of turning mind energy into accomplishment and wealth. All thoughts which have been emotionalized, given feeling, and mixed with faith, expectancy, begin immediately to translate themselves into their physical equivalent. Any idea, plan, or purpose may be placed in the mind through repetition of thought. Create a definite plan for carrying out your desire and begin at once, whether you are ready or not, to put this plan into action. Deliberately seek the company of people who influence you to think and act on building the life you desire. Desire backed by faith knows no such word as impossible. Do it now. Don't wait. The time will never be just right. Start where you stand and work whatever tools you may have at your command and better tools will be found as you go along. Every adversity, every failure, every heartbreak, carries with it the seed of an equal or greater benefit. Everyone faces defeat. It may be a stepping stone or a stumbling block, depending on the mental attitude with which it is faced. Fears are nothing more than a state of mind. Great achievement is usually born of great sacrifice, and never the result of selfishness. Hold a picture of yourself and steadily enough in your mind's eye, and you will be drawn toward it. If you cannot do great things, do small things in a great way. If you do not conquer self, you will be conquered by self. If you do not see great riches in your imagination, you will never see them in your bank balance. If you give up before your goal is reached you are a quitter. A quitter never wins and a winner never quits. It is always your next move. It is literally true that you can succeed best and quickest by helping others succeed. It takes half your life before you discover life is a do-it-yourself project. Keep your mind fixed on what you want in life, not on what you don't want. Life reflects your own thoughts back to you. Most great people have achieved their greatest success just one step beyond their greatest failure. Most so-called failures are only temporary defeats. No one is ready for a thing until he believes he can acquire it. Opportunity often comes disguised in the form of misfortune or temporary defeat. Our minds become magnetized with the dominating thoughts we hold in our minds and these magnets attract to us the forces, the people, the circumstances of life which harmonize with the nature of our dominating thoughts. Our only limitations are those we set up in our minds. Patience, persistence and perspiration make an unbeatable combination for success. Plan your work and work your plan. Positive and negative emotions cannot occupy the mind at the same time. Procrastination is the bad habit of putting of until the day after tomorrow what should have been done yesterday. Set your mind on a definite goal and observe how quickly the world stands aside to let you pass. Some people dream of success, while others wake up and work hard at it. 
Strength and growth come only through continuous effort and struggle. Success comes to those who become success conscious. Success is good at any age, but the sooner you find it, the longer you will enjoy it. Tell me how you use your spare time, and how you spend your money, and I will tell you where and what you will be in 10 years from now. The cause of depression is traceable directly to the worldwide habit of trying to reap without sowing. The ladder of success is never crowded at the top. The majority of men meet with failure of their lack of persistence in creating new plans to take the place of those which fail. The man who does more than he is paid for will soon be paid for more than he does. The more you give, the more comes back to you. The starting point of all achievement is desire. Keep this constantly in mind. Weak desires bring weak results, just as a small fire makes a small amount of heat. The way of success is the way of continuous pursuit of knowledge. There are no limitations to the mind except those we acknowledge, both poverty and riches are the offspring of thought. There is one quality which one must possess to win, and that is definiteness of purpose, the knowledge of what one wants, and a burning desire to possess it. Think twice before you speak, because your words and influence will plant the seed of either success or failure in the mind of another. To be a star, you must shine your own light, follow your own path, and don't worry about darkness, for that is when the stars shine brightest. Victory is always possible for the person who refuses to stop fighting. Whatever your mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. When defeat comes, accept it as a signal that your plans are not sound, rebuild those plans, and set sail once more toward your coveted goal. When you have talked yourself into what you want, right there is the place to stop talking and begin saying it with deeds. When your desires are strong enough, you will appear to possess superhuman powers to achieve. You are the master of your destiny. You can influence, direct and control your own environment. You can make your life what you want it to be. You become what you think about. You can do it if you believe you can. You can think your way into or out of almost any circumstance, good or bad. You give before you get. You have a brain and mind of your own. Use it, and reach your own decisions. You might remember well that nothing can bring you success but yourself.